Okay. Um, you have to think about this one for a little while. We're looking for the magnitude of the normal force exerted by this bottom block on the middle block. Yeah. So how, how hard does this block push up on that block? And plus we have this push of uh, 170 newtons down on the top one. So the way this is going to be the easiest, how, the question then you have to think through is how we're going to break this thing up. If you think about it for a while, the easiest way is to treat these top two blocks as one thing. Okay, so the strategy is going to be let's treat these top two blocks as one thing that has this force added downward on it plus the weight of the AB weight and then the normal force of C up. So if we think about it that way, then what we're going to do is we're going to find, we'll end up finding some normal force exerted uh, on B and that's what we're ultimately looking for. So C can just be considered like it's the ground or something. So if you look at it that way, um, then we can just uh, make this whole thing, we'll call this, um, yeah, let's stop doing that. So we can call this whole thing AB, and it's just sort of resting on the ground, and then analyze the free body diagram on that. So we know this pushes here. And then, of course, we have the force of gravity down, which is its weight, but that'll be the weight of A and B. Um, and then there's going to be this upward force normal. That way, um, we'll call that force normal from C, which is just as good as the ground. So we'll call that uh, force normal from C, or something like that. Okay. So we set up our free body diagram just like that, and then we're gonna do our net force equation in the y direction, and our free body is really the combination here of A and B. So the net force in the y direction, um, let's make up positive, is just going to be, uh, well, who's up? Well, that'd be the force normal up, as we see in our diagram, it's this guy right here. He's up, minus the force of the push down, minus, the weight of both of these guys. Okay. We're not accelerating, so again, this is going to equal zero. We know that 170 newtons goes there, and they tell us the mass of A and B there and there. We know that's 9.8, and I will let you do the rest.